assembly station. Please proceed to your assembly station at this time. We invite you all to join us for your sail away celebration. All right, and let's put our key card. It looks like we need to put our key card in here for, for the lights. There we go. And this is our solo ocean view room. Okay, I am impressed. Look at the space for a solo cabin. All right, I just got to my cabin. This is a solo ocean view cabin and this is cabin number 5784. So let's do a quick room tour to check it out. So here at the front door, you have your emergency instructions that's on the back of every door to tell you where your muster station is. So I am assembly station C on deck six. And of course you got your locking feature for the door. Here you do have to insert your key card and that's the makeup room when you are ready for your room steward to come clean your room and then there is a do not disturb. Now coming in I do like the neutral color the decor is kind of nice and simple so that's nice and here in front of your bathroom door you have a full length mirror. Let's go check out the bathroom we have our bathroom light here all right that's our bathroom light. Let's go in. Ah, it looks like there's, this looks pretty spacious compared to most of the bathrooms that you see now. Our shower, of course, we love, I love the fact that it has glass doors. You know, here's our shower. We have our body wash and shampoo and conditioner. You got your little cubbies here, grab bar. And here, this is a laundry line. In case you need to like dry some things, you can pull that across and hang a few items there to dry. Here we have a place where we can, oh, these are cups here. Oh, they got little, like little grooves in so they won't slide off in case there's a rocking ship. But you got two glasses, but uh, four holders there. This is cleanser here, hand soap. A couple of towels here, let me see. Oh, we do have washcloths. It seems to be a thing on some ships now where you don't get washcloths. You have to ask for them. So they do have them there. Uh, let's see if this is storage area. There's our trash bin and it looks like we can use this for a little bit of storage. And we have some lower shelves here for storage, some extra tissue. And there's our roll holder. We have our tissues are right here. Our Kleenex tissues are right there on the side. Our toilet there looks like there's a drain down there in case I guess water does get on the floor. There's your drain. Some shelving here. Some hand towels. This looks pretty nice. No, this is not a regular plug. This is one of those uh, for shavers only. No outlet in the bathroom, but then this is an older ship. So I'm really not surprised by that. But as you see, there's a lot of room here. <laughs> so it's a good size bathroom. I like it. Coming back out and we have our temperature control here by the bathroom door. And on the other side, we do have two hooks on the wall. If you want to hang a few items. Is this a storage here? Yes. Okay, a couple of shelves there. We have our mirror here with our lights on the desk. We have our outlets, both international and US. I don't see any uh, USB or USC, but again, this is an older ship. They have the Freestyle Daily. They do have this on your app as well. The same format, same six pages that is presented in your app as well. Going down, let's look here. All right, here, this is our cooler or our refrigerator. Let's see, I'm sure this is for purchase, but looks like ha they have water and some natural spring water and some sparkling water. But I am quite sure that's going to be for purchase. What is this? And moving over here, there's a hair dryer that's underneath our trash can here. This looks like, oh, is this supposed to be a sitting stool? Huh, how does this work? Because I know this is going to be for storage, right? You can store things in here or you can use this as a seat, this top here. <laughs> If that's supposed to be for a tabletop, well, uh, that's kind of low. All right, now we'll swing around to the other side to the closet. So we have a full closet here. Let's open this up and 
see what this looks like. Let's slide it open. Oh, plenty of space and plenty of hangers. This is divided into two. No shelving in between, but you have plenty of hanging space and a shelf above. And we'll check out the other side over here. Okay, here is our shelving. So we have shelf space, plus we have our safe. Especially for a solo, this is a lot of storage for the room. Let's go around to this side, and here is our television, and oh boy, is this storage up here? If so, oh yeah, so that's, that's a storage up there, but you know, that's, looks like that's useless space for, to me. I mean, who, who can put anything up there? And our television, here we have our menu. Uh, yes, okay, so menu and mini bar. Let's take a look at this. So we do have some door hangers for our breakfast service. Let me see, breakfast service available, 6.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. at a 4.95 room service fee. There you have it, no more complimentary. But then again, I don't know if this is my first time on NCL, so I don't know if it was ever complimentary. They have delivery on demand. You can order cocktails. Let's see what else is here. And then this is room service, the full room service all day, a $9.95 fee for all day room service. So breakfast is $5, lunch, and the rest of the day is $10. All right, and continue down, we have storage here as well. Moving over to the bed, on both sides we have shelving on both sides, but I do not see, let me see, and then you know, there's a little cubby here, and here is, we have light, Okay, little accent light there. Okay, that's nice. And that's our room light. And of course, our curtains for our ocean view. And down the, oh, this bed is soft too. Oh, goodness. It feels like there's a topper on here already. This is, oh, goodness. Oh, y'all, this is good. All right, and then shelving over here. Now, the one thing I do not see are outlets by the bed so i don't see outlets by the bed let me make sure no outlets by the bed so um everything over is over here on the desk now you probably won't need it but yes there's a lot of storage space here under the bed if you want to put your luggage there so this is our solo ocean view cabin this is cabin number 5784 and i will say i am very pleased it's a comfortable room the bed feels nice and soft without even having to ask for a mattress topper there's plenty of space in the bathroom to me i think this is a nice room definitely better than what i've seen for the solo studio cabin so not cramped at all uh, lots of space. It does, it feels like a regular cabin. So this is really nice. So that concludes my room tour of the Solo Ocean View cabin, cabin number 5784. Okay, we just checked out the cabin and now I'm about to go find the studio lounge just to check that out. All right, I am on deck five, but the studio lounge is on deck 11. I think deck 10 and 11. So we'll go up. Here it is. Let's see if my key card works here. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, this one door looks like there's another. And these are the regular studio cabins. We'll go in the lounge here. We are on the upper level and nobody's here. And this is the downstairs area oh looks like there's an actual bar here and then of course your your coffee and orange juice and then have some treats here for you to enjoy and some fruit and welcome solo travelers a little bored here Here it looks like they do have any of this. They do have a schedule here, also. And this is looks like this is a flying station, but it doesn't look like it's 
functional look <laughs> yeah. or it doesn't look like it's available. So I'm trying to be the ultimate solo cruiser. So normally this is something I wouldn't do like a solo meetup, but I do want to see what the experience is like and to also share it with you. I'm going to sacrifice the Sailor party and come to the solo meetup to check it out. 